Hi, Stacey from Paint Scout here, and today I'm going to show you how you can create a presentation just like this to accompany your estimate. You'll see here that we have our estimate as we normally deliver to the customer, followed by the media and the terms and conditions. By creating a presentation, we can also add these additional pages that we see here in the table of contents. So on these additional pages, we can create videos, photos, and content to sell yourself and your company to your customer without them having to ever navigate away from the quote. So I'm just going to walk through this example that we have here. And then we're going to go through together and build one out. So to get there in Paint Scout, we're going to start by clicking your person icon followed by the account settings. And then we're going to select the presentations option on the left hand menu. Now you'll see I already have some pre-created presentations here. To create a new one, we're just going to press this add new presentation button. Now we are in the presentation editor. So the first spot that we're going to want to change is the label here. This is going to be the name of your presentation. So let's call this an exterior presentation. I think it's nice to create your presentations to align with your quote types. So we're delivering a customized experience to the client based on the project that they're about to receive. So now that we've labeled this as your exterior presentation, let's take a look at how this editor is laid out. So on the top bar here, these are going to form the pages that we see on the table of contents within the presentation. So to create a new page, we're going to press the plus button and you're always going to choose the empty page option. So now we have a new page and we can retitle it here. So let's label this as about us and we'll continue to build these out until we're happy. So I'm also going to add in a reviews page, a page for a portfolio, documents page, and we'll end off with services. You can hold down any of these titles and drag and drop them to where you would like them to live when the customer opens up the quote. So if you'd like the estimate to be at the very end, or if you'd like it to be the first thing they see when they open it, you can arrange that here. On the estimate section, you'll notice that we already have a few sections or tabs already included. These are going to be the placeholders for the actual estimate that you create when the presentation is sent out. So this page can remain relatively untouched and we'll kind of create the rest of the presentation starting from the About Us page. So to add a section, we'll just press the Add Section button on the left and then you'll be met with all of the choices of the different types of sections you can choose from. And we do have a full article explaining what each section means because there is a lot to work through, but I'll walk you through kind of the most popular ones today. So the cover page is going to be how we create that first header that is seen on the example that we looked at together. So you can utilize this cover page to create that top header that we saw in the previous example um, that was on the top of each page that we viewed. So to do that, let's add the title of the page about us. Now, if you have like a company tagline or you want to add in a subtitle, you can do that here, but I'm just going to remove that from here. Now we see in the right hand side of this pop up that we have a preview. So this is showing exactly the changes that we're making before we go and save that to the presentation. So I'm kind of not loving the font that we have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this big T, little t, and it's going to expand this entire page for me. So from here, we can go ahead and adjust the font that we'd like to use. 
we have a few options to choose from. So let's go with Roboto and let's bump up the size to large. Now, if you also do want to show this all uppercase or all lowercase, you can transform that there and then also add a little bit of a shadow onto your words as well. And then finally, we can adjust the sizing. So let's go ahead and change that color. Perfect. And you can use these bottom buttons to adjust the alignment, um, the vertical alignment as well. If once we add the logo in there, if you want that to sit center align, top or bottom few other customizations. So we can pull in the job address or quote contact address to show um, in that cover page, as well as we can include the first image that's added on to the estimate as your background image for this. So I'm just going to leave those toggled off for now, but I am going to go and upload a logo. So just dragging that in here, we'll see that on the far right and we can adjust that size make it very big keep it small now if we want to add a background color to this banner we'll select this style option and we'll choose a background color from here so i think i'm going to go with just a light gray and if we want to get rid of kind of that default padding we can select this box and we can also contain this banner so it looks like it has a little bit of a shadow beneath it there. So once we're happy with how that looks, we'll just press save and it'll show like this on the About Us page. Now, you're probably going to want to maintain the same header across all of the pages that we've created. So you don't have to do that from start from scratch each time. Instead, you can select the three dots on the side of that section and select Copy. And that's going to create a duplicate of that cover page. And then we'll just select the three dots again and move that to the next page. So now that's been moved over to the reviews page. We can click in here to edit and adjust that to be the new title for this page. And you can just continue that process until each page has its own header. So another popular section to add is going to be either the two or three column. So the two column, for instance, is going to allow you to showcase a photo and a chunk of information. You can um, adjust how this appears by choosing these two drop downs. So you can do text on both sides or images on both sides if you'd like. You can also use these arrows in the middle to change what side the text or image appears on. So just for an example today, I'm going to remove the title because you'll receive more formatting options actually in the content box. So I'm going to just paste some content that we have here and pull in a picture for the About Us page and it'll show like this. We can swap that around if we prefer this layout. And once we're happy with that, we'll press save. Also for the About Us page, um, we can go ahead and add just a full image. So pull in any image you would like. Um, I have this one here that has a couple kind of accreditations and um, groups that this company is a part of. So I'm going to save that in, and then that will show as a full image down below as well. And then finally for the About Us page, let's add the image row. This is great also to showcase any awards you may have received. Um, it also works really well for social media content. So I'm going to just clear out these icons that we have in here, and we can pull in some icons. 
So these are white because they're going to show up on a background. So let's add a background color in here. And then you'll see the white icons show up. If we also want to change the color of the font here, that can be selected from the foreground color. We'll change the verbiage in the title. And then you can then add the hyperlinks to your Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn profiles. Um, in these specific boxes, and that will allow the images to be hyperlinked so your customer can click on them and then be brought directly to your social media page. So let's go ahead and save that in as well. And it's showing like that so far. Moving on to the reviews page, you'll most likely want to include the testimonial section. So again, I'm just going to remove this header and you'll see that it's formatted with three reviews. Um, you can change around the location of the reviews using the arrows on the side, whereas the X is just going to remove that review altogether. And if you would like to add any additional testimonials, you can add this button and build it out to be beyond the initial three. So once we're happy with how that's looking, we'll press save. When you go to deliver the estimate, these will actually show in your branded color that you've selected in your company profile. On the documents page, this is a great opportunity for you to display your certificate of insurance, your business license, any other PDF documents that you want your customer to be able to have access to. So to include those, we're going to add in the document section as seen here. Again, I'm just going to remove that title and I can drag and drop in this certificate of insurance. And we can use the formatting in the description box. To create a larger header, bold and italicize that as well. Use the add document button to add in an additional document if you would like. And then once we press save, that will appear like this to your customer. So if they would like to view this document, they can press the view document button and that will open it up in a separate tab for them. For the portfolio, you have a few options to display your images. We can add a section and either do the two column or three column, convert it all to image. And again, you would just drag and drop any photos that you have. And they'll show all aligned three to a row. If you want to continue this format throughout the portfolio page, you can simply copy this section, upload three new images. You can also go the way of including a gallery instead. So the gallery will allow you to choose how many columns of images you would like. So let's say we'll go for two and you can add a border around those images. And to add them, you're just going to press this add or remove images. This probably looks familiar to the media uploader located directly on the estimate when you're adding photos there. So same process, you can upload an image and the gallery allows you to also include a title. So this is great if you would like to label everything and provide a caption to provide a bit more insight into the project for your customer. We'll press confirm and it'll show like this. Once you're happy with your presentation, you'll want to make sure to press the save button if it's located up top here. And then you'll head over to your estimate types to ensure that it is the assigned presentation for every time you create that quote type. 
So we just created an exterior presentation. So I'm going to open the exterior estimate type and select that new presentation from the list in the drop down here. This will ensure that that presentation is automatically attached each time we create an exterior estimate. And we'll press confirm to lock that change in. Hopefully that helps you get started on building your presentation in Paint Scout. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to our team at support at paintscout.com.